If you're working with a client and you wonder if that person has a decrease in their high contrast acuity, these are the key observations that you would be looking for. They have difficulty seeing small or subtle detail. So they have difficulty with reading. They have difficulty identifying small features on devices or in tasks that you're attempting to have them complete. They have a diminished ability to see color. And what I mean by that is not that they can't differentiate a red from a blue from a green and, and, and identify the color correctly. It's just that they don't see the color very vibrantly. And so um, they may mistake a red as a pink because it actually looks pink to them. They have slowness in information processing, and that comes directly because of their difficulty in seeing small and subtle detail. That slowness can also appear as a cognitive impairment because it takes them longer to figure out what's going on. They make mistakes because they don't see details, and that also can look like cognitive impairment. They often, if they've had this for a while, will tend to avoid activities that involve seeing details. So when you start questioning them about their uh, occupations and you notice that they have difficulty reading, they'll quickly tell you that they don't read, that it's not an important occupation for them, they don't do it, when that probably isn't the case. Another key observation is that they get very close to objects to try to view details. So they come in closer than you would expect when they're trying to examine something. And they may ask for more light to complete an activity that involves reading or seeing details. Again, if they're kind of aware that they don't see very well and they figured out that light helps them, they'll try to get something under the light. So as you're working with them on their ADLs, you can be looking for these types of observations.